Well, we couldn't believe that Borough had made their first summer signing in May. Now they've made their most important summer signing in June. Michael Carrick is staying at the Borough. Get in. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and we had some fabulous news drop today, news that we've all been expecting to a degree but I think until you see it you always are a little bit concerned because in football as a lot of clubs have came to realise there is always a bigger fish and no matter how happy you may have an asset at your football club whether it's a player whether it's an assistant we've got our assistant coach Aaron Danks currently being pursued by Vincent Company's Bayern Munich it's always possible that regardless of how much they commit verbally you could lose a player you could lose a manager if a bigger club comes knocking and we've had the biggest sign of commitment and trust and faith and stability from the club today as Michael Carrick has officially signed a new contract, a new three-year contract with the Borough and will be staying on until hopefully 2027, which is absolutely fantastic news. You know, in a world where the managerial turnaround, the managerial go-around is, is so crazy, you know, you see managers coming and going from football clubs, managers who are let go ridiculously quickly and easily we've seen David Wagner getting let go from Norwich despite making the playoffs we've seen Liam Rossini get let go from Hull despite them just missing out on playoffs football clubs can be so trigger happy nowadays and clubs can be thrown into complete disarray by some of the rash decisions made by people at football clubs and stability I think is one of the biggest factors for a club being successful long term so many clubs have shifted managers changed philosophy changed squads players and i think the ones that make the most progress your brightons your brentfords the teams who have gone up into the premier league who have stayed there are ones who look at things long term and have that stability on and off the pitch they have that degree of calmness and understanding from top to bottom whether it's from the chairman to the manager to the players to the recruitment and i think borough are in the best place we've been in for years in terms of how our recruitment strategy is mapped out and now we've also got Michael Carrick signed on and I have despite at times he's had obviously wobbly moments there's never been a doubt that he is the right man for the job and given the tools he will take Borough in the direction to a place where we all dream of being I have no doubt and to see him put pen to paper is a fantastic piece of news because we've all saw what he can do with Borough, the football we can play, we saw it towards the end of the season, despite the overhaul of players that we had this year, all the younger players who've come in, the amount of quality that had to be replaced and the injuries as well that he's had to deal with this season, I don't think he'll have many tougher seasons in his career in terms of stuff happening outside of his own control and he still managed to get us on a run at the end of the season where we only lost one in 12 and had the season kept going for a few weeks we would have made the playoffs and I think the the achievement what Carrick has done with this Borough team this season is arguably just as impressive as what he had done the season prior when he had literally the squad of his dreams to utilise with quality and consistency and fully fit squad as well what he's done this season has been amazing and to see the future with him and what he could do with this current team improved upon with this current team only getting better together it's very very exciting and again I've mentioned this a few times but not just how important this is within Borough as a club but I think looking around us so many clubs in the championship are dealing with some form of instability right now you know there is a turnover of squad Leeds have obviously just missed out on promotion they're going to have to sell a ton of assets to keep their head above financial water. West Brom have got one of the best coaches in the league, but they've got an aging squad. They've got loads of players leaving who they're going to have to replace. You've got Norwich, who've just had to hire a new manager. Hull have just had to hire a new manager. Coventry are probably the only side who I think are in exactly the same boat as us in terms of how stable we are with their coach and the players they've brought in and the fact they've got a tremendous foundation to build on like we have. So for me, 
I think given all the upheaval and, and all the Premier League jobs that are going as well, you've got rumours around Man United wanting a new manager. Obviously, there was concerns with United being Carrick's squad he played for predominantly throughout his career. West Ham have been another team that have been linked with Carrick in the past who've needed a new manager. There's always that slight concern that a Premier League club's going to swoop in out of nowhere. So to get this done is absolutely brilliant this is what was said on the website Carrick said I'm really happy about it I've always been quite calm about it I think having that attachment that trust and that belief within the club is important we've certainly got that that's what still gives me the great feeling I had when I first walked through the door it feels like a big step as a headline as a statement but really it doesn't change anything I do or how I approach it it just carries on what we're trying to achieve Carrick of course one of Borough's oh, sorry, one of Borough's one of England's most decorated players hopefully one of Borough's most decorated managers once he's done joined the club in October 2022 in his first season Borough reached the playoffs in last term despite a lengthy injury list brought a Carabao Cup semi-final appearance and an eighth place finish just four points off the top six so yeah this is great news. This is the most important signing of the summer for me. Regardless of the players we bring in, having Michael Carrick here, having him steering the ship, continuing to, and as he alluded to, having the trust and the faith in the recruitment team, his relationship with Kieran Scott, his relationship with Steve Gibson, everything seems very harmonious at Borough right now. And that is something I will never take for granted because so many other clubs are going through so many changes and tweaks, whereas Borough seem like we have the most solid foundation in terms of a squad. We now also have that with our head coach. And hopefully if Aaron Danks can stick around and there are reports that Bayern Munich are not willing to pay the compensation fee Borough are wanting for Aaron Danks, the coaching staff can also remain pretty stable and we can head into next season looking up well and truly. So if you're a Borough fan, let me know your thoughts on this news in the comment section below. I'm absolutely delighted, albeit expected. You can never say never in football today. So to see this being penned and done is fantastic. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, do like this video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for much more content to come. Big thank you for watching. Michael Carrick's Red and White Army are going to be around for a long time yet. Absolutely great news. Up the bloody borough and I'll see you all in the next one.